Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 with me, Full Symmetry. I'm gonna have a little quick snack of, whoa, of an arrow apparently flying across the, uh, across the ground. I don't know, that was a pretty bad idea. Pretty bad idea. But anyway, today I have a perfect idea of what to do and that is carry on with my base because yes, as I said, I think in the last episode I want to finish it off. Uh, ASAP, uh, without rushing it, without rushing it, and obviously if other projects come up elsewhere, then I will get on with those instead. But yeah, for now I want to work on this, but to do so, uh, I want to work on the little area down below. Now, one of the areas down there, we're going to walk off this way by the way, as we are going, uh, as we are chatting about this. So basically what I want to do is, as I've got a hall of patrons down there, the other side is looking super super bare. And it is going to be the kind of hall of Twitch donators, I guess. So basically, people that support me on Twitch, the people that are in the, the description that I thank down there, uh, I want to thank them in the game like I did in the last season. Now, in the last season, all I did was put a sign up on the wall. And I want to uh, upgrade that and make it look a lot better because that wasn't super, super exciting, just having a sign on the wall in the, uh, the Sea Temple Monument thing. So, uh, instead what I want to do, oh, this is probably the worst place to go, actually. You know what, actually, maybe this isn't. But what I want to do is basically put some armor stands down. Now, I did, uh, wonder whether or not I wanted to use armor stands or whether or not I wanted to use other stuff. But I think armor stands is what I'm going to use. I didn't know that there was a portal here. That is, that is a first. I thought there'd be armor. There isn't, so I guess I'm going to have to head to the other skeleton spawner. And zombie spawner. I want to collect a whole bunch of gold chest plates because I think the to top donator will be this guy, the the enchanted diamond chest plate. But I think that uh, everyone else will probably be there's a mumbo jumbo over there. Uh, everyone else will probably be gold. I think gold's a nice, easy, but also very fancy looking uh, type of armor. So I think if we mix it up like that, that'd be cool. So I think what I'm gonna do go do is rather than buy a whole bunch of gold, I will head over to the wrong way apparently. Where am I going? Where am I going? This way I think. So the triple spawner to see if there are any gold chest plates left over down in there. So let's head over to here and uh, we're here already and I will see if there are any chest plates left over. Let's hope there are so I don't have to waste my gold. Okay so we're down here. Uh, there were four gold chest plates in these chests here. It's very very noisy. Oh my god. Let's turn these sounds down. I could technically wait here with the looting sword, which is this one, but these guys aren't necessarily going to be wearing gold chest plates, are they? So I don't think it's going to be very easy to get some, because obviously this would be filled up with gold chest plates if it was super, super easy to get them. But I think four is not bad, that means it saves me a little bit of gold, but I think gold isn't that expensive anymore, so hopefully we'll be able to get uh, quite a few chest plates out of that. But I also need loads of iron ones as well, so... Yeah, we'll get a nice mix. I think I need 12 of each, so 12 gold, 12 iron uh, around that, maybe 11 iron. And uh, let's head back to base, which I keep getting confused because this area has been covered over by cub. It looks so, so different because obviously there was a bridge along here, if you guys remember, that went to that, that area. There's basically a massive ravine right under my feet. And it's crazy, it's crazy. I can't get used to this area since it looks so, so different. But anyway, let's head back to base in the most fashionable way possible. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so we are now down in the correct area. Now this, if you guys haven't seen, is my Hall of Patron. I do need to uh, update it. There are a few people that are outdated in here and a few people that I need to add since starting a new month, but I will be doing that soon. Don't you worry, I want to sell out the server first, then do this kind of when I get back uh, mid-August or so, so it will be done, just a little bit delayed. Um, and yes, I've decided I want to use more water in this design here, because I've used water down here, but not too much of it. And you guys know I really, really like using water in design. So what my idea is, and I haven't tried this out yet, it's just in my head, I'm thinking that this might work, is since I haven't got as many people to put along here, I'm probably going to do, I think, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So I can fit 12 people down here, which I think is exactly the right number, at least for now, um, down here for the top donators. Then the highest donator will be in the wall here. Uh, be in the side of the wall, not on the front. Um, we'll then have everybody else along here. And then what I'm thinking is that these areas up here can be the other 
donators in that basically so how I've got it set out the highest donor goes there then everyone else that is above a hundred uh, in a single donation goes along here and then anyone that is a little bit less um, or is a hundred uh, then will go in this area here as you can see I've still got this here for some reason and obviously what have I done with the ceiling here <laughs> what have I what have I left I've left admit myself a mess up here but what is this is this magenta purple okay so it looks like I need to go get some purple clay before I start down here because it's gonna look a mess otherwise but hopefully we'll get this whole thing done this episode let's get rid of these as well because otherwise it's just not, not able to get up here there we go perfect so 12 people down here about 11 up there and that one person at the end there I think that sounds pretty good and to add water I was going to add it in the middle. I was going to add a big strip in the middle behind some light grey glass so that it goes with my water feature there that I added recently. But I think instead, let's try it on this one here, I think instead I will have these strips of water here. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work since there is a half slab gap at the top, but I think if we move this back, I put loads and loads of... How are we going to do this? Put glass along here, like so. I then need to jump up there. I think I might need to put lighting in or something. But, can I jump here? I can't. Okay, that's going to be difficult. So I guess I have to do that. There we go. But I think if I put some... Uh... Okay, does that look okay? I don't know about that. But basically, I'll put glowstone at the bottom of that. Or I'll put glowstone in the middle, perhaps. Let's see if I've got any fence posts. I think I brought some with me because I wanted to add some more to the design as well. And I reckon if I put a glowstone... Oh, I can't! No, there's bedrock right there. Okay, that, that scraps that idea then. I was going to put glowstone there and then have um, the, uh, the fence going all the way up in the middle. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I guess that could still work. But we'll have to put lighting behind the water, I think. Although, still then, there is a chance that that is not going to... Yeah, that's probably going to be bedrock behind there as well. Okay. We need to think this through a little bit better. Maybe I'll have to add glowstone elsewhere, but we definitely need lighting somewhere because that is way too dark. So Genius False over here has come up with a great plan because obviously down there, that's where I want the water to come from, as you guys saw in the last clip. But what if I have the water go down there, come across, and then go down there? So like a really, really long waterfall. Now, I don't know whether or not I put glass in front of these, and I haven't actually done these yet. So let's do it on one side. So let me get doing it here. Whoa, why is there... Why is there lava? Uh, I thought I'd got rid of it all. I guess not. That's probably a bad idea. Will it matter? Probably yes. If this starts burning down, because I'm trying to show you guys what this, this is going to look like, I'm going to be very sad. Uh, but basically what's going to happen is this is what it looks like on that side. And then as you can see there's a gap up there. So if I head up, I'm heading up the wrong way completely. It's not part of the staircase. But if I put some water, and I haven't tried this yet, put water there. It goes, oh for god's sake, that, that gap thing, that really bugs me. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's Optifine or what. And then it comes all the way down. That looks so, so cool. Because then I think when I'm up here, I should be able to see that going straight down. Which I think looks pretty fancy. Okay, well I'm going to do that for all of these. That's going to take a little while. I've only done that side dug out. Then I need to collect loads of water. And then I think we should be good. And then we can start adding the details. And start adding actually people on the arm stands. So the only thing with the arm stands is that originally I said that I wasn't going to do them. Because I didn't want to try and find out people's Minecraft names. But I think it's not a problem. I guess if I can't find someone's Minecraft name, I'll get a Steve skin ahead or something to signify them, perhaps, or even just have... I can't really have the same head on all of these, can I, really? I guess I'm going to have to use their Minecraft name, so I will have to get in contact with you guys. If you are a top donator, uh, let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll sort it out at some point. We'll sort it out at some point, but for now, I think this is such a great idea. It looks really, really cool. So from this angle right now, and it may be because we don't actually have any armor stands on anything just yet, we'll add them as we go, I think. I'll add these four that I've got right now, because I can. Let's add the other two this side as well. But you can't really see the water, which is kind of bugging me a little bit. It looks really, really plain and boring. But I think when we add this last guy out at the end, we will have a better 
a better situation. So my plan here is, if I can pick that up, is to have this guy stood up in this gap here, perhaps? Like in there. Wait, is that the centre? That's the centre, right? And then I was going to have water coming down behind it. But I think instead... We need to maybe have water coming down there and water coming down here. But I'm not really sure how. I've run completely out of glass, but I think that this might be the option where I have basically this area down here that's going to have glass in the front and then water behind and then the same this side. I think that's going to be best because then it looks like the rest of it. So we have the glass still because uh, the water is quite bright up there where you don't have the glass in front. So I'm thinking that's going to work best. So we might try that out perhaps. Not sure what to do when it gets to about there. Also, that torch up there needs to be removed. What is... Why is there a... Well, I guess I need to head up there for a second. We have we have spaces left over, apparently. But, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this is looking so far. We just need to tweak a few things here and there. And I want to start adding some leaves. So that's what I'm going to go do, and then we'll figure out what else we're doing. And then I think it becomes... Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I wonder where I was then. I was like, there's light somewhere. There we go. Perfect. So there we go. Okay, let's get on with it, and you know what? I don't think it's looking too bad. Looking quite simple, just just not just not too bad. Well, I hope you guys are ready for the reveal. I really, really, really like it. I know it's not like the craziest thing I could have built ever, but sometimes simple's best, guys. And I think that that is quite simple, but it looks really, really cute. I've added up the names as well with everything on them and stuff. Now I haven't obviously got the the, the, the heads on there yet, um, but that is because people are on. Now once people leave, I can get those heads. I just don't like uh, doing it whilst other people are on. Like, they get annoyed when the chat starts being spammed and stuff, so um, I don't really like doing that. So I will do it when the server is quieter, but I think this is looking really, really cute. Now, and the only problem I have is that I obviously have been missing out on some people. There are 11 people on the thank you list in the Twitch description that aren't in here. That is because I think I was going to put them up here, but obviously, as you can tell right now, there isn't really much in the way of room. Now, there is, I guess, room there. I can't fit them in this gap here, though, which is a bit of a problem. But I can, however, fit them in these gaps. So, one, two, three. So, that would be six total. And I need double of that at least. Uh, I guess, you know these little areas back here, I guess I could perhaps have one there and have one there and make that so it's like that and therefore fit one there, one there. So that would make one, two, three, four each side, no five each side, that would make ten total. Then I need to find one more space now and can't put it over there. Ah, so it does kind of suck. So I guess I basically need two more spaces. So one more this side, one more that side. And I'm not sure where to put that. I guess I could put it there, but I don't think that's going to work. I can't really move this around anywhere else. Huh. I could put them at the front, similar to what I have over there, where I've got some people standing on the edges. But I could do then... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... You know what? I could probably do 1, 2, 3... And then one, two, three, and have them all facing inwards, so that when you walk down here, they're all facing you. That might be a better idea. So I might try that out. Get rid of these glass panes in the centre and put them there, perhaps. Maybe the sign's on the opposite side. Who knows? Actually, you know what? I think it's going to be best facing outwards. Just means the problem is that some are facing outwards, some are then down here. So it's hard to see from down here, the people up there. So I don't know. I'm literally not quite sure, but I think that that might be the best idea for now, at least. Yeah, we'll have to do something. We can always tweak it in the future. So let's add some more people, and hopefully these will look really, really cool and make the whole room a lot busier and actually look finished. And I think that will be the whole area down here done, which makes me so, so happy. It just means that I've got, like, five office, office uh, offices areas, office areas up there which are empty, which is the only thing that sucks. All those ones there, so one, two, three, four, five floors I think I haven't done. So just need ideas for those, and then I should be good. Oh man, we'll get there in the end, guys. It does seem like a long task, but we will get there. Trust me on this one. 
And there we go. Uh, look at that. We've got our stance up there. Let's quickly head up the stairs. I need to all these torches, but I'm going to have to figure that out another time because it's just too much faffing around for right now. But there we go. We have everybody on the uh, the 100 crew, as I call them. My Twitch description. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. Just I thought it was a funny name at the time, I guess, and uh, it stuck. So yeah, we've got the diamond at the end, we've got the gold, and then we've got the iron. That's pretty cool. I think what I'm going to do is something similar as well to down here where I have the different ranks almost along here. So this basically uh, explains what everybody is, and uh, that's them down there. As you can see, obviously, the, uh, the lowest are at the top there, and then we have a uh, mixture down the bottom. As you can see, and that's pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we're going to have the same here. So we're going to have the three different armor stands right here. Uh, I think that will work. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll be pretty even, I guess. That'll be okay. And I'll add that later, I think. But for now, I think we've got all the things done that we can. Everyone's still online, so I can't be getting the heads in. There are about 25% of these guys that I know have uh, Minecraft characters that have the same name. But there's a lot that I don't know as well, and some that might have to be Steve. But I think that's what I'll do. I'll make the rest Steve that I don't know, contact them, and then when they get back to me, I'll change it. But that'll work for now, I think. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, even if it was a bit of a strange one. But I have now finished this area, so I'm very, very, very excited about that. I hope you guys are too, because every area we get complete in this space now means that we are closer to getting back to our main base, which I'm still coming up with ideas for now. So yes, so everything good, everything's fine, everything's dandy, everything is wonderful, and I'm very, very happy with how things are looking. So remember to leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you haven't already, and that is it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.